then... What did the doctor say it was? I was really worried when the ambulance came and picked you up this morning. Speaking of that, I really wanted you to bring me to the hospital, but I couldn't get you to wake up this morning. I didn't know what was happening to me. I thought I might be dying or something. Sorry about this morning. I was really hungover from last night. <laughs> so, anyway, have all the tests come back yet? Yeah, they know what it was. They said I have appendicitis. Appendicitis? What's that? Basically, the problem is my appendix. They have to remove it. So, does that mean you're going to have to have surgery? Yeah. So, I'm gonna be in the hospital for three days. They're going to do the surgery tomorrow. Really? Three days? That sounds expensive. You know I don't work. I don't have any money to help with this. Are you going to be able to pay for all the hospital bills by yourself? Well, I don't really have a choice. If I'm lucky, my insurance might cover some of it. That's good. So, if you're going to be in the hospital for a little while, you'll want some things from home, right? I'll get some stuff together and bring it in for you right now. Oh, really? You do that for me? They might be able to let me out and run home to grab some stuff. No, no, don't worry about it. I think you should be resting and not moving around. I'll get some stuff together for you and drop it off right away. So, you're gonna be gone for three whole days, right? Yeah, that's what they said. I don't know why it's so long. Why? You're not happy that I'm gonna be gone that long, are you? Huh? No, no, of course not! You know I'm gonna be lonely without you. I see. Sorry. You'll have to look after things around the house for a while. Are you okay with that? Look after what things? The cooking, the cleaning, the laundry, things like that. The stuff I always have to do for you. What? All that stuff can wait until you get home, can it? Ian, we agreed on this when we got married. I told you I didn't want to do any housework. And you said you were fine with doing everything as long as I was home for you. Well, yeah, but... Ian, you know my only job is to make you feel better after a long day of work. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Fine, don't worry about the housework. And just eat out or get some delivery while I'm gone. But at least remember to lock up at night when you go out. Okay! Don't worry about a thing. Anyway, I'll bring some things for you right away. See you in a bit! Hey, Ian, what's up? Are you having a good time at the hospital? Does anyone have a good time at a hospital? The food here is terrible. And it really hurts when they cut me open. Yeah, I guess. I've never been admitted to the hospital, so I don't really know what it's like. Anyway, what's up? If you're thinking about coming to see me, don't bother. They're gonna be letting me out soon anyway. No, it's not that. It's just... What is it? It's not like you to beat around the bush. Did something happen? I just wanted to double check something with you. 
You're still in the hospital right now, aren't you? Of course I am. I'm not going to sneak out before they release me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why? What's going on? Just give me a minute. I don't know how to put this, so I'm just gonna come out and say it. There's some other guy in your house right now. Huh? My wife happened to come across a second account your wife has on social media. Go on Twitter and look for hashtag an awesome Saturday. Why? What's that? It's really popular right now. People post pictures of how they spent their Saturday. There are lots of pics of people at expensive restaurants, leisure spots, and other stuff. Do you not use Twitter? No, I don't. I had an account, but I deleted it a long time ago. And what does that have to do with some guy being in my house? Okay, I'll just send you a screenshot of it. This isn't something I really want to be doing while you're still in the hospital, but... This is probably the fastest way. This is your house, isn't it? Um... It sure looks like it. Wait. Yeah, it is. I'm sure of it. That thing in the background on the wall is something I made in shop class in high school. See? I knew it. Hey, Sean. Any chance you can come to the hospital right now? I've got a lot of things I want to ask you. No problem. I was planning on going over there anyway once I saw this. I'm getting some things together now. I'll be there in a bit. Valerie, can I talk to you for a second? What is it? I want to ask you something. Where are you right now? Now? I'm out doing the shopping now. Why? Nothing. I was just wondering what you were up to. Oh, Ian. Are you getting lonely in the hospital? Do you miss me? Don't worry about me. I'll be there in no time to pick you up and take you home. Speaking of that, you never came to see me after my surgery. You only came the first day I was in here to drop that stuff off for me. I'm sorry. You're not angry, are you? I wanted to come see you, but I've been really busy. You quit your job after we got married. You're not working. What are you busy with? I quit working, but there are still things I have to do. Women are busy like that. You know, you don't have to hide it anymore. Hide what? What are you talking about? Sean went over to our house for me. Huh? You didn't notice he came, did you? You were too busy having fun, weren't you? Sean? Your friend, Sean? He came here? Yeah. When? He's been outside until just now. Even when you just told me you weren't home and you were out doing the shopping. He confirmed for me that you were in the house, and then I sent him home. What do you mean? You've had another guy over there ever since I was admitted to the hospital. Ian, it's not what you think. I'm not cheating on you. He's just a friend. I just wanted to do some redecorating before you got back from the hospital. We just wanted to surprise you. And today was the first day that he came. You've got 
gotta believe me. The only man I'd have in my house for the night is you. Hashtag an awesome Saturday. Huh? I did a search for it. Saturday is the same day I was taken to the hospital, wasn't it? You posted a picture of you and another man toasting wine glasses in our bed, didn't you? You saw that? You don't use social media! Yeah, I don't. But almost everyone I know does. Looking back through all the pictures on that account of yours, there's a lot of you and him. Saturday's not the first day you met him, was it? Valerie, let's talk about this when I get back. And send that guy home. I don't want him there when I get there. I'm not at the house. What? You thought I was cheating on you, didn't you? I'm not going to live with you if you're not going to trust me. That friend of mine said he'd let me stay with him. Come on now. What the heck are you talking about? Are you telling me you're going to live with the guy you're cheating on me with? I told you I'm not cheating. I was lonely because you weren't there, so I invited a friend over and we had some drinks together. That's all. And don't blame this on me. All this happened because of your appendix. You should have been taking better care of yourself. What did you say? I was working every day and had to come home and do all the housework on top of that. Even if my appendicitis was somehow caused by stress, it still wouldn't be all my fault. Huh? Are you saying this is my fault then? If you wanted someone to do the housework for you so badly, you should have hired a maid. Because you know there's no way I'm ever going to do it. Yeah, I know. I feel bad for your dad, but I can't take this anymore. What? Why would you even mention my dad? Oh, now that you mention it, is it because your company is subcontracted by my dad's company? Don't tell me you were hoping to become the manager of his business someday. Were you? <laughs> Sucks to be you. He'd never promote you and make you manager if you're prone to getting sick and taking time off work like this. <laughs> I can't believe you. You're horrible. Me? I think you need to think again. You're the one who won't even trust his own wife while he's gone. I'm sending you divorce papers tomorrow. You'd better sign them and hand them in. Goodbye! Hey! Why won't you answer your phone? This is really important! Not for me. I submitted the divorce papers, and I already filed for my compensation money. Don't ever contact me again. It's about the compensation money. Why does he have to pay it? Because you don't have any of your own money. He sold everything of mine! My car, my bags, my jewelry, everything! If he didn't have enough in the bank to pay me, how can you blame him? Shut up! You're a thief! I want it all back, now! When the heck did you even meet up with him? It's because of you that he kicked me out of his house! He's pissed that he has to pay you so much money! 
Meeting up in secret with him to collect the compensation money from him? How dare you! I never met up with him. What? Your father spoke to him on my behalf. Huh? My dad did? That guy you were cheating on me with works at your dad's company, doesn't he? Wait, you said you're not cheating. I mean your friend. I don't understand what's going on here. Why would my dad take your side and help you get compensation money from him in our divorce? You work for my dad! You've got that all wrong. What? You must have been under the wrong impression this whole time. Your dad's company is a subcontractor for my company. Huh? What are you talking about? Every time I've seen you speak to my dad, you've been so polite and respectful. Almost as if you were talking to your CEO or something. Of course. Your dad never told you the story, so I didn't want to tell you either. I was working for your dad's company doing part-time work while I was in college. You were? This is the first I've heard of this. Yeah, it was kinda like an internship. Honestly, I wanted to work there when I graduated. But your dad looked at me and said that I could do so much better than his company. So, he got me an interview at a much bigger company than his. It was all because of your dad that I got to where I am today. He even introduced me to you. That's why he felt bad for what you did to me and helped me get my compensation money from you and your boyfriend. I think he's going to demote or even fire that other guy. Turns out he hasn't been performing well for a while. Wait, what? Are you saying your company is bigger than my dad's? It makes more money? If you want to put it that way, yes. I didn't know that! Why wouldn't you have told me that before? If you would have told me that, I wouldn't have been trying to meet other men! Are you saying you were just looking for a guy with more money? Wait, don't answer that. I don't even care. You're not my wife anymore. Ian, don't be so cold. We just got divorced. Why are you suddenly being so mean to me? Whatever, I don't care either. I know other guys out there who are more suitable than you. Yeah, about that. <laughs> are you talking about Blake Doubleday? What? Or even Ferrari Guy 26 at ManhattanLife.com? How did you? They're both me. Sean told me you were using social media to find guys. So I made some fake accounts. I figured you were using Twitter to meet people. When I started pretending to be a young, rich guy and would DM you, you'd respond right away. <laughs> Your favorite line to use is, I'm a married woman, but a lot of people mistake me for a high school student. You use that line way too much. <laughs> but this... This can't be happening. You tricked me? I hate you! I figured if we had to take our divorce to court, it'd be nice to have some extra evidence to prove my case. Luckily, it never came to that, so it doesn't matter now. So, like I said before, don't contact me ever again. Wait! What is it now? Ian... I was just thinking. I apologize for what I did, so... 
Do you think it'd be okay if I just stayed at your place for a little while? I have no other place to go. Why don't you go back to your parents? No way! My dad knows all about what I did. He's gonna be pissed with me! I don't care. It's your own fault. From now on, I promise I'll help out with the housework. Won't you give me another chance? Please? No way. Are you saying you want your wife to freeze to death outside with no place to sleep? You mean ex-wife. If you ever have a medical emergency, I suggest you just call 911. I had to do it once not long ago, if you recall. Ian, please. Let's just talk about this. I'll send you the address of where I am. I need you to come and pick me up. Sorry, I just can't help you. Because I'm really hungover from last night. Lol. After that, Valerie used her social media to try to find a place to stay. But when she posted her current location online looking for others in her area, her father saw where she was, drove down to get her, and dragged her back to his house. I guess he had started keeping tabs on her social media accounts. <laughs> Valerie's parents contacted me later and asked if they should force their daughter to come over and apologize to me. But seeing as she had cheated on me with random guys she found online, I couldn't stand the thought of seeing her again, so I declined their offer. Since Valerie was living with her parents again, and her dad didn't want her just staying at home, leeching off of them, I heard that Valerie's dad sent her to work at one of his company's factories. It must be truly hell for her. She's doing manual labor every single day now. <laughs> 